<laughs> What's up guys, it's Pierre from Gdansk In Your Pocket and today I've hopped off the train at Gdansk Stochnia uh, which is the old shipyard uh, district and for those of you who haven't been to Gdansk these cranes are heritage listed uh, structures um, that were in full swing, you know, maybe 30 years ago and now they basically aren't used and uh, the industry has moved elsewhere around the world. But anyway, um, so that's what this neighborhood is kind of known for. But uh, for Foodie Friday today, we are not going to Stochnia or to Old Town. We're going that way to Gdansk Anjulki. Today's recommendation comes from one Peter Daniels and Peter has recommended uh, Trattoria La Cantina in, uh, yes, in Gdansk, Anjulki. Uh, I'm assuming it's Italian by the sound of it. I haven't read up too much on it. I'm going to kind of rock up there and just see what the menu looks like. Uh, be discreet about it because of course we have to do Navinos and we have to give our honest opinions about the food. So let's see how we go. We're near the medical university actually, so um, yeah, you'll hear a lot of ambulances and uh, actually there's a lot of uh, pharmacies and stuff, so that's that's a laugh. Okay, so from Trattoria La Cantina, I ordered my main course, which I'll do in reverse of course, as usual. This is pasta arrabbiata, with um, specifically with uh, in a tomato sauce with capers and my entree, which should actually be my outro, is a minestrone. Minestrone. And it looks like they've actually thrown in a piece of bread too, as a kind of an extra. So that's cool. And, well, importantly, I didn't have to remind them. They gave me my, um, they gave me cutlery, plastic cutlery. First thing I'm going to say about this, uh, and a few people have brought this up. I am going to start rating people now as well on packaging. Uh, I understand some things are easier than others, but I'm going to bring it up anyway. Um, plastic packaging. Big no-no. Not good for the environment, guys. Um, okay. So. It looks beautiful. Look at that. Now that the film's off, you can see it and it's still piping. I don't know if you can see the steam, but it's still steaming. And I must not have read the Polish correctly either because, as you can see, it comes with olives, which is not a problem. I would have this with cheese. If there was extra cheese, that'd be great. But anyway, there's not. So, pasta arrabbiata. Here we go. Smudge nego. Hmm. Nice and tomatoey. He told me that this was the spicier option. I can feel it a little bit on the uh, on the back of my tongue, but it's not overly spicy, to be honest. So I suppose you could say that it's Polish spicy, perhaps. Turn it around that way so you can see. Oh no, I'm feeling it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is good. This is good. A little bit of pepper as well. Ah. Uh, Penne is nice and al dente. Is this penne? I'm not overly familiar with Italian cuisine, to be honest. Is this penne? Anyway, I'll call it penne. The penne is lovely, lovely and hot. If only there was some cheese in here, that would be great, but unfortunately not. The minestrone. Again, plastic packaging. Not a big fan, but I understand there are difficulties and there's a pressure to do takeaways, so. But then again, there are, I know there are paper options you could probably use, so we'll see. Mm. Oh, shit, spilt a bit there. By the way, I did disinfect my hands before I started. Minestrone. I'm gonna just sip it using my mouth, no spoon. Hmm. 
there's not too much zing to this minestrone. It's um, it's not great. It's a little bland. That's my initial thoughts. Now I've been sitting out here. I've been outside for maybe ten minutes, so it started to go a bit cooler, but it's not terrible. Okay. Excuse me. Minestrone is not amazing, to be honest. Uh, but I'll try. It. I'll try it with, um, with some of the bread. What have we got? Some kind of sourdough thing, I think. Let's see. Okay, it's much negro. Well, the bread does help a little bit. Nice absorbent bread. This bread is really good. I don't know if they bake it on site or whether they get delivered, but I really like this bread. This bread has saved my opinion of the, the minestrone for now, anyway. So listen up. They didn't include my receipt in the bag, but Arabiata and the minestrone, plus the bread thrown in, 42 zwatis. 42. 42 zwatis. Now, value. Let's talk about value first. Value it's pretty good. Okay, four. Four for value. Taste. I would give the Arabiata a four. I think the Arabiata was really nice. And a decent portion. The Minestrone wasn't so great. I give it a three. So I might do for today, three and a half in taste. I think they could work a little bit. Bloody ambulances. Presentation. Once again, look at that. Lovely, colorful Arabiata. Presentation, I'm gonna give it four. And for where it's relevant, the build, the way it's all assembled, is great, it stayed fine. And you know, I wasn't jumping up and down. So, build, I'm gonna be kind to them in this one and I'll give them a five for the build. Cause it's all stayed together pretty well. Mm. And it's still nice and hot. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any recommendations for new places, I wanna know about them. Um, so let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash in your pocket. And we're also uh, on Instagram too, at in your pocket is the handle. And until next time, have a good week.